<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday Live Lessons. My name is Aldrin Guerrero. I will be your instructor for today. Joining me are Mr. Aaron The Voice. Now, come say what's up, Aaron? What's up? And uh, we have <laughs> Kai the Legend Forget. Say what's up, Kai? What's Kai? up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because uh, I do say that. <laughs> say what's <Yeah>. up. <laughs> As I was going through my lines, I'm like, oh man, that's I do, I do. I thought I, I thought I stopped saying it, but I guess I still do. <laughs> it's so natural know, now, that's why. <laughs> yeah. For those of you that don't want to talk about, was it last week that we talked about that? Is yeah. it in this show? Or is it on a low Friday? Uh, I think it was this show. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> their favorite quote is, "Say what's up, guy." <laughs> <It's> their <laughs> yeah. favorite quote. There's there's a couple of people who mm. put that as their favorite quote. I thought it would be more like right guy instead of what say what's up guy. <laughs> right guy. And then, you know, like, yes. <laughs> I think I think that's more of an off oh, yeah. office thing, right? Oh, like, I, I don't know. So. I don't know if we do that. Do you still reply much. with "good one, boss"? <laughs> I, <laughs> that that was a thing for for a little bit. I, I got a little bit more confidence, and I decided to not respond with that. <laughs> I used to go right high. Good one, boss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he man. knows that we can't fire him at this point. <laughs> that, that was He's when, essential. He's an essential worker. That was when I was still coming into work with my my one dress shirt and my tie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you set a good example for a new employee that day. <laughs> was it just that day? The whole week you did that. Maybe a whole week. We could say. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday Live Lesson. My name is Aldri. We got Kahai and Aaron in the house. What we do here is we like to answer any and all of your ukulele questions. It's like an ukulele underground town hall meeting, basically. You know, like whatever you guys, whatever question you guys got, we're here to answer it. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. These two guys will come up with their answers and we'll, uh, you know, come up with a super answer just for you folks. Okay, you can give it to us however however you can get it to us via email, via UU chat, via the UU forum or UU plus forum. Any more uh, specific about that. <laughs> UU plus forum. Uh, we have a voicemail that people can call, right? Okay, hi, we do, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, however you want to, you know, if you want, if you got my number, you can leave me a voicemail, you can leave me a text, whatever, you know, texty text or what. And we'll try to answer them, right, Kahai? Uh, <laughs> good one, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back old school. All right. So, Kahai, what's our very first question of the day? Oh, wait, 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 wait. before you go, if you guys don't have questions, we'll just talk about cartoons. <laughs> now that that's laid out <laughs> on front street go ahead kai oh shucks no questions i guess we'll just have to talk about it's like looking at the <laughs> we get letters and we look through try to look through the the light see if there's a question in it and just throw it away if there's a question yeah it's more just like uh you know it's how's kai doing you know <laughs> kind of question oh we'll take this question it says what's your favorite cartoon <laughs> oh yeah good one no um which which decade <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, this uh, so I got a question just from a person, mm -hmm. and they they said that uh, they want to get presents for somebody who's into ukulele. So I thought that maybe this week we could kind of do a, a uke gift oh, buyers guide. Nice, or, nice. Yeah. So like our top ten gifts for ukulele players. If we I think all ten. ten spots are AG cross AQ strings. <laughs> <laughs> because they, it comes my in girl, different my sizes. Is growing and, and I need some uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The tenor one is you know and then the baritone one. Uh, low G, <laughs> high G. <laughs> that's all ten of them. No, that's good. That's good. We talk about that, Kai. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, well, um, actually, I I just posted that our um our regular UU shirts are back in stock. It is, and uh, and oh. if you check out our Instagram, we have a, we have a thing with ten percent off of uh, of some some merch, right? Yeah. Although these guys heard it. If you listen to last week's show, you guys heard it already. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just just reminding everyone, you know. Yeah. If you you guys got the yeah. jump on it. Yeah. If if you guys don't know what to get for that very special ukulele player in your life we have 10 percent off over on the uu merch store where's the uu merch store kai uh you can just go the easiest way is just to go to our, our site and then mm -hmm. click on store and then mm -hmm. it says merch store nice yeah. well what's the uh, what's the address it's just... shop.banware.com slash ukulele underground <laughs> like i said it's much easier just to click on yeah. store but just in case you know like mm -hmm. you uh you know you don't want to go to the site and then go to a different one if you can just, just type think... it yeah we have links in YouTube too, and then mm -hmm. we, of course, have links in uh, our show notes, our links mm. and stuff. So yeah, bandware. Good. So what what do we got there, guys? Uh, hats, shirts, mugs. Um, uh, I think I don't know how much beginner DVDs we have. Nice. 
uh, I don't know how much. Because you sent them out to them, right, Aaron? Yeah. And you some CDs them. and stuff too, right? Yeah, yeah. So we got some, yeah, some old um, back stock CDs that we had. Mm-hmm. Uh, that haven't been available for a long time and finally yeah. are available again. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting on eBay. Like, ah, these are going to be a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, 10 years yeah. down. And 10 it years did. down, it's actually worth less. <laughs> That's 10% off. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were hodling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Um, yeah, so the merch store, 10% yeah. off. We got lots of cool stuff. Yeah. So make sure you check it out. In 10 yeah. years, everyone's going to still love DVDs, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like uh, it's a hot commodity 10 years later like uh-huh. oh man this is the very first ukulele underground dvd like yeah. they're so they're like so successful now and like, <laughs> you can't get these anymore yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how damn, do we play know? it now <laughs> <laughs> you know right with like fontaine reds right kahai uh yeah sorry i'm helping somebody <laughs> out somebody's oh, okay. having trouble in this room. all right so um buyer's guide um holiday buyer's guide First and foremost, I I think the number one thing that any ukulele player, regardless if they have one or not, okay, tuners. <laughs> Just <laughs> right off the bat, every ukulele player could use a tuner, regardless of uh, if you know one of these kind of tuners are just kind of clip on, um, you know, fancy schmancy tuners, Peterson tuners, stomp tuners, whatever it may be. Any ukulele player can use them. And regardless if they already have one, you know, like um, if they have one already, give them another one and so just keep them in their case or give them another one that so they can clip it onto their music stand or something. And just, you can never have enough tuners. I know mm-hmm. Brian Tolentino has got like hundreds of tuners. He's <laughs> <Like, laughs> yeah. got choke. So yeah. um, tuners, my number one holiday buyer's guide for all ukuleles. Now, which tuner is uh, is going to be the problem? Um uh any any tuners you know if, if you're you know if, if you want to keep it under 20 bucks and stuff there's some great tuners under 20 bucks or i think snark tuners are under 20 dollars um and yeah the tuners are are pretty common now that you can get them for under 20 bucks but some really nice ones um include uh, peterson you know I've, I've talked about peterson before um very 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 accurate sometimes like headache inducing accurate <laughs> like it's uh it I believe it's 0.05 cent accurate for those tuners, Petersons. Um, another one is uh, Korg tuners. Love me some Korg tuners. I've got a, c- a couple of them as well. Um, that, tuners, right off the bat. That's my f- number one pick for a holiday buyer's guide. What do you get? Get that. Because you can't go wrong, right, Kai? Something, uh, well, something about the Peterson tuners, though, right, is for, they're great and they're accurate, mm-hmm. but f- it's kind of like a diminishing return for how yeah. much you pay for them. They're they're kind of pricey. Yeah, they're about hundred bucks for one or something. Yeah, they're 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 pricey. Because I remember you talking to a member and they were saying that they were getting a Peterson tuner, mm-hmm. but you were saying like you should really consider if you need one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if if you're good with just a regular clip-on mm-hmm. tuner, then the Peterson tuner is kind of like overkill yeah, just for you. Imagine it being the Rolls Royce of uh, of clip-on tuners, okay? Um, and they come in not just clip-ons; they they have a stomp tuner as well. And uh, Peterson have has a bunch of cool little products for for mu- musicians in general. So if you want to check out like their lineup of stuff, that's always awesome. Um, Korg's also got some cool stuff. Uh, I've seen a not just a Korg tuner, but I've seen like a Korg metronome. Those are cool. Uh, those are cool too. Um, yeah. Tuners, my number one pick. So someone else go. What 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 would you guys get? And no, we'll just, just go uh, around. We'll just go around. Well, well, with the Peterson too, you you have to also learn how to read it. It's, oh yeah, it's yeah. not as straightforward <laughs> as a or like you're flat or you're sharp or whatever. Yeah, yeah that it's, one it's like it's a little it's, different. It's just this vibrating thing, and you just got to make it stop vibrating. Yeah, <laughs> like that's really yeah. all it is. So I mean, uh, like. If if you're buying for a beginner, yeah. I wouldn't recommend. No, no, no. it's headache inducing for, yeah. for a beginner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually brought uh, mm. the tuner that I pretty much been using all year, and I like this tuner. <laughs> super tight. Yeah, is this one? Yeah, super. Let me get a closer look at the super tight tuner. I uh, try uh, bring it close to you. No, it'll, it'll be <laughs> there. Super tight. Oh, this way. Super I, tight tuner. I think that's just. A rebranding on the snark tuner yep. they're super tight it, like you know <laughs> suppose it but um that snark tuner in particular is like a all instrument tuner yeah 
And I think I prefer this one to the ukulele specific tuner. I mean, mm -hmm. it's because I play guitar too. Mm -hmm. So if I want to tune my guitar, I, I'll tune it. But mm -hmm. I think uh, it, even if you, you're buying for an ukulele player, you might want to buy them a chromatic tuner or all instrument mm -hmm. tuner because you never know when you're going to, if they're going to play another instrument or when we finally get together with other people. You know, the great thing about a, a clip on tuner is you just like pass it around, yep. let somebody yep. else tune up, mm -hmm. and you're, you're all good. So. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Number one, number one pick. All right. Um, I like this actually. It feels like it feels good. There's like a coating on on top of this thing that like oh, makes I've... it matte, like a matte finish. Yeah, kind of coating like uh, yeah. rubber almost. You know yeah. what is this guy? Uh, I don't know. I I've had other snark their previous snark tuners, and mm -hmm. that's one thing about them is that they actually melt and <laughs> and when they gets hot. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that new coating kind of fix that problem did we, did uh, we touch this dude, dude <laughs> no. this is like some fancy schmancy <laughs> what is that velvet <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. something <laughs> kind of so, interesting where's right? that quote from mm -hmm. uh what is that velvet <laughs> how can i uh <laughs> i can kind of picture it but i can't remember no, where it's from it's coming to america <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I, I was saying I can picture Eddie Murphy <laughs> yes, saying Eddie it, Murphy. but I I can't remember what. Movie Eddie Murphy is a Jewish man. <laughs> <laughs> a uh, long, long, long time ago, um, one of the you know one of the first times that Mike was that was was our guest. We intentionally put in um, a bunch of coming to America <laughs> quotes. And I don't know if anybody noticed, but yeah, it's an Easter egg for you folks. It's just we were like, how many quotes from coming to America can we sneak in there into the <laughs> show? Into the show, but it has to sound natural. <laughs> yeah, All yeah right. you guys did a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just no, no, no. Just has be to funny find for that us. episode and put it in the <laughs> I don't know. in the show notes. He knows which one. <laughs> I think, and I think Kira was doing show notes at that time, and she yeah. just said like, "I didn't even put all the i I didn't put the references. <laughs> oh, if people got it, 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 they caught yeah. it, but that, that's 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 why." Okay, all right. Um, Kahai, what's your uh, what's what's a pick from you, bud? Uh, pick for me. I kind of picked the easiest one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, stock, uh, well, like uh, tuners are mm -hmm. clip-on tuners are also great stocking yep. stuffers too. So mm -hmm. that's definitely, I think, something that's easy to get. Mm -hmm. I, I brought um, oil. I brought uh, uh, fretboard oil, oil, and this is the one that I use mm -hmm. F one. Mm -hmm. Um, essential oils <laughs> yeah. uh, that's from music nomad right mm -hmm. yeah and, and the like lemon oil is great uh, uh and if you can only find lemon oil that's perfectly fine mm -hmm. but the thing i like about this one is that i use it on my les paul my mm -hmm. the fretboard of my les paul and mm -hmm. it actually seems like it helped rehydrate it it uh -huh. was a little bit dried out so it, it kind of adds like a yeah mm -hmm. it the uh, the wood soaks up the oil and it mm. looks nice and it feels pretty nice too. These things like just never tell you what's in it, you know, like uh, <laughs> I, I, proprietary I, blend. Yeah, I have. Um, was that boogie juice that I yeah, had yeah, before? Yeah. I actually like, talked to the guy at Nam and I'm like, "What's in this?" They're like, "It's it's natural ingredient." And so I'm like, "Yeah, dude, but like farts are natural." You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. it's one of those things. Like just just tell me. I don't want to put just random things on my uke, but this. Right on the front, it says 100% natural oils, you know, like, uh, I'm sure if you go to the website, that they'll tell you what's, what's in it. Kahai, you know, um, will we'll vouch for it. He says it, it works great on his Les Paul, of all the things to put it on, Les, you know, that's one of his more, like, uh, prized possessions. So I would, I would trust Kahai in this one. <laughs> like, uh -huh. uh, if he says it's good, it must be good. Yeah. Because Kahai, you never really endorse anything, do you? Uh yeah, I, I think <laughs> I think it's good on all hardwood mm -hmm. fretboards. Mm -hmm. So uh, the only thing they said I think is like softwoods or. Mm -hmm. Do you put this on the body too, or just a fret? Oh no, I, I just Frets, put it on right? just a fret. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like okay. if it gets on the body and you wipe it off, I'm sure yeah, it'll right. be fine. But mm -hmm. just to be safe, I mm -hmm. rub it into the fret. F1 oil. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric. Mm -hmm. Oh well, yeah, uh, for for that company, Music Nomad, they mm -hmm. they make like a lot of cool products. Mm -hmm. Like, if you are like trying to pimp out your ukulele or really take care of it, mm -hmm. they they do a lot. Um, and mm -hmm. in fact, I think they have an ukulele specific kit. Mm -hmm. um, like so that care kit and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be um, 
that would be an easy one. Mm-hmm. I think, and I think it's labeled with ukulele on it. Oh, yeah? So like you know, if you're buying for an ukulele player, <laughs> yeah. that's like a cool little like oh yeah, it's specific for ukulele. Even though they're just reusing their mm-hmm. stuff for mm-hmm. guitar, but they they label it specifically for ukulele. I think I don't know why no one has done this, and I feel like I should do this. Like there's no you know like how there's monthly subscriptions for stuff. Mm-hmm. Why isn't there like an ukulele monthly subscription or like like you, a box? Yeah, like, like a, just like you know, a, like Luke crate and stuff yeah but like for ukuleles you get you know you get to try out stuff like this where like it's it's oil and you get you get to try like a pack of strings mm-hmm. you know like and you, you change you're supposed to change strings every month anyway yeah you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. So that's kind of their main thing there's like a different pack of strings in it every month for you to try and stuff mm-hmm. i think i mean don't steal that nobody steal that <laughs> <laughs> do it because i would love to sign up for it you know like, you sign up for that yeah um that would be kind of cool and just little things like polished cloths mm-hmm. and just not you know nothing crazy but it's something that people would pay i don't know like how much do people pay for a loot crate guy uh, i'm asking because if you feel like paper <laughs> but i've had loot crate for like yeah. five years i i haven't done <clears throat> loot crate subscriptions yeah, but uh, <laughs> I think it's isn't like I mean some go for cheaper, but I think on average it's like twenty dollars. Yeah, I mean you can definitely tier it and stuff, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, for those of you folks who are entrepreneurs who want to start something, I think a, subs- a ukulele care kit subscription mm. box, box will be something you know because it's not like you're selling ukes like every in you know, every month. If you can do that, it go. I think people sign up for that too. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, if like twenty dollars can go a long way, I think. Have you seen um? There's a company called. Kiwi Co, I think that's what they're called. Kiwi, like the the shoe polish company. <laughs> no, they they uh, make boxes for kids, and mm-hmm. it's like uh, different. You know, kids can learn to do engineering or mm-hmm. different projects. Oh yeah, for yeah, kids. yeah, yeah, yeah. But recently, they they made like a build it yourself ukulele kit. Cool. I, I don't know if it was a part of like mm-hmm. one of their monthly mm-hmm. subscriptions, mm-hmm. but I wanted to email them and be like, "Can you send a kit to us?" And I want to make my boss make your <laughs> yourself ukulele kit. Maybe the ukulele challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, lots of ideas. You could put strings in there. You could put like um, like a like an ukulele CD or something. You know, like support some of these musicians and stuff. That'd be awesome. But I mean, I don't want to do it. But like, somebody do it. So I can <laughs> yeah. sign up for it. Yeah, I would love to sign Seems up for like a lot like of work <laughs> every <laughs> month. Mean, people do loot crate and stuff, and that's pretty yeah. lucrative. You know, like I think. Yeah, if you guys are any business entrepreneurs out, entrepreneurs out there want to try that out, I'd sign up. I'll be your first customer. Just for, <laughs> I mean, depends. If, if you do it good, then yeah. <laughs> I'll keep signing up. But if not, I'll sign up <laughs> for the first one. Okay? All right. <clears throat> uh, what was yours, Aaron? Oh, I don't know. Just uh, just in general. Oh, the like, um, nomad. Music, nomad. music Nomad. Yeah. Yeah. But Music Nomad, lots of cool stuff. Aaron approved. Okay? This, this being one of them. Okay? Um... Another one for me. <clears throat> I mean, there's there's tons. Like, <laughs> and, and, I, and ukulele on the ground shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ukulele on the ground shirts. Um, you know, I, it's. I'm gonna take another free one, which is like I mentioned it earlier, strings. But if that doesn't count, you know, strings doesn't count because uh, you can definitely get strings, and uh, they're not too expensive, but they are. You know, they're not super cheap but they are you know um affordable they, they range from like 10 to what 20 dollars for one and you can get like multiple for uh you know for an ukulele player that you want to get something for um polished cloth is another one another free one i feel like it sh- shouldn't you know count as a as a pick but <clears throat> if i'm gonna you know if i'm gonna have one as a uh, as a pick for buyer's guide i would say um get a non um what you call non-intrusive like ukulele strap like i think those are fun i mean like i i know i've i'm kind of like anti-straps and stuff but dude have fun man and and kind of i've i'm still not gonna change my stance (laughs) against like uh i guess if you should wear a strap or not but i think like um a lot of ukulele players that play for fun, to play for clubs and stuff. It's part of their self expression, you know, like, oh, I've got like the most colorful this and, and and that and stuff. And I think straps are one way to, you know, to kind of uh showcase your, you know, your personality. All right. I have um I have strap pegs on my ukulele whenever I, you know, I, I play shows um on stage. I I have a <clears throat> I had that Spider Man strap that I had and it was like that's that was just me making my own kind of statement. Now He's a fancy schmancy um, like leather one because the Spider Man broke like twice, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's fun. I think straps are cool. Um, but 
see if they have you know if they have uh the, the strap pegs and if not you can get like a non-intrusive strap um I, I think jake sells his kind of branded straps those are pretty cool i've seen that it's non-intrusive <clears throat> you can get regular classical guitar straps and you can put um like the softer side of the velcro like inside so it doesn't scratch up this part of your ukulele mm -hmm. you can do that um yeah and there, there's there's a bunch of other ones and there's a lot of cool homemade ones that people do um yeah so that's that's my second pick i think those are cool it's, yeah. it's for self-expression <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Craig, Craig, and Sarah yeah. make their own branded mm -hmm. um, I, straps. Mm -hmm. I just went to their store, and I don't know if they have them anymore. Oh, because <laughs> Sarah, can't Sarah, catch. Sarah, Sarah can't keep up. <laughs> um, the demand. Do you know if Lori still does her ukulish? Ukulish. Because that know. was I a, think so. I, I think so. I've seen. Yeah. I've seen them still. Yeah. That was that was kind of like an innovative um, mm -hmm. ukulele mm -hmm. type of strap. Mm -hmm. Um, that started on ukulele underground mm -hmm. too. Like yeah. she started mm -hmm. doing that and promoting it on ukulele underground, mm -hmm. like the the mm -hmm. original forum, mm -hmm. way back when. But um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you, I mean, the, the you know, there there are some that you you don't need to put like strap pegs. So it's yeah, ukulele yeah, dot com cool. still going. Nice. Looks like it. Like we saw. Uh, we saw them like at a ukulele festival and they're selling it, you know, like in their booth. And yeah. Stuff, so they're doing pretty good. Oh, you know? they look really legit now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got them at like the uh, the prototype stages. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Ukulele. She's She's Thank got you. a lot of other things Let's Let's on, her, around real quick. on her website too, like um, Circle of Fifths guides and, nice. and wow. charms and stuff like Was that. But like yeah. right there. Like, wow. Yeah. 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 That looks legit. Yeah. Huh. So that's cool. before it was just like whatever material that she had. You yeah, know, yes, because she, she was just making them um, hmm. by hand. That's cool. So uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing she's still making them by hand. But yeah, it's just like it, it's it, they look really mm -hmm. great. I know uh, is is Renee on the you know on the live chat right now? I know she's like super crafty, and I think she makes her own like straps and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe ask a UU Plus member to see if they can make you a custom strap. It looks like so. I, I went to Craig and Sarah's site and yeah. I couldn't find their the uh, straps on there, mm -hmm. but the the ukulele site has oh, nice. her straps. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um. Oh, I was. Oh, uh. So somebody, I think Chris and Sue mm -hmm. said that uh, humidifiers make a great stuff. Uh, stocking stuffer. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you live in a dry, if you location. live, yeah. If you live in a dry place, <laughs> definitely those, you know, uh, those yeah. are very, very, very useful. Which ones? Uh, whoa. Oasis. Yeah. Oasis. I think Oasis, Oasis. is. Yeah. It, Hands isn't, down. <laughs> yeah. I think they're one of the only mm. ones that make ukulele specific humidifiers. Mm. Uh, there are a few others, but I mean, uh, once upon a time, we used to sell them in the UU store mm -hmm. too. And so that's definitely mm -hmm. uh, UU approved. Yeah, um, just don't overhydrate them because I've I've seen somewhere like, you know, because you 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 put that thing, you submerge it in water and stuff. Sometimes it's like super duper wet, and it, like people put it yeah, inside. And yeah, you yeah. Can, and like so, the people, Oasis one uh, kind of the the design of it prevents yeah. that. Yes, yes. So that's why we recommend it. But, but like, yeah, I've seen some people. They're like they they took off their their thing and it's like dripped inside. Uh -huh, like, yeah, you don't want to happen. <laughs> you, you know, like it's it for me so. to soak it. But yeah, um, follow directions on that one. You know, yeah. you could hurt your you. But yeah, um, humidifiers. Uh, the internal ones or the ones that you put in a case always good stuff this is like a kind of boring and it wouldn't mm -hmm. I, I don't know if people would want to get this as a gift but mm -hmm. uh, something that I constantly use is like a microfiber cloth mm -hmm. just to wipe down my uke or wipe down all my instruments you know uh, mm -hmm. use it for to rehydrate my fretboard and mm -hmm. everything so mm -hmm. um, and you you'll see uh branded ones from like uh you know diodario or mm -hmm. wherever you really don't need to do that you can buy like a 10 pack on amazon mm -hmm. from wherever and yeah, they're yeah, pretty yeah. much the same yeah. thing or like AutoZone or whatever, <laughs> wherever you like your nearest auto shop is like yeah you just want like uh microfiber kind of mm -hmm. yeah that material a soft yeah. Yeah. yeah anything else to add uh i don't know i mean 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a very good <laughs> consumer. So, <laughs> oh well, one thing that you can you can do, which you don't necessarily have to buy too much stuff or go to a you know specialty store. Uh, we've talked about this before, where like um old like us you know kind of older like old school ukulele players um used to have like binders full of music and stuff. Mm-hmm. So what <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of ukulele music out there now. So one you know one great idea is you guys can take those and you guys can print them out. Just get like a you know a three ring binder, put them all inside, and gift them to your favorite youth player. You know what I mean? Like just make a songbook for them, or like a song binder, like for you know for them. It can have like 20, 50 songs, and it costs like as much as paper costs and a printer, I guess. You know, like yeah. if you have a printer, you can totally do that. Put them in those you know like the, those sheet protectors or whatever, mm-hmm. and then uh, it's it's great. That's I as an ukulele player, I would love a gift like that you know like that if, if i get it and it's all my you know my favorite songs they make it personal you know like um uh put some songs in there that you've heard them play or you would like to hear from them and stuff that's a that's one of the ideas that uh that i've had as an ukulele player to give to some like my musician friends mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. What or, are, uh, or like uh there there are um song books out yeah. there too like uh one of the ones that a lot of clubs use is mm. uh jumping gyms mm-hmm. Yeah, daily, um, yeah. daily ukulele yeah. yeah and there's two versions right yeah so the leap year edition the leap, leap, one yeah leap year edition but, so you know and and uh, i i do endorse that it's great they're you know they're awesome people and stuff but mm-hmm. yeah if you want to personalize something you and uh and it shows that you put a lot of hard work into their present you know like yeah if, if you, you get something like songs that would be cool and then yeah. like in the you know like in the front cover of the thing you can like make a little picture of them like playing i don't know you know like just <laughs> make it fun really that that's a, like i would love to to get a gift like that kahai yeah the- <laughs> i need to figure out like i i might have mine from high school oh yeah i gotta go find it but <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have one in my car right now, like for the uh, the jazz band that me and Mike oh, was, yeah. was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I still have that in my car, like just in case, you know, Mike wants to call a practice one day, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and he wants to uh, play some jazz music. But it's it's things like that where like you know it's really simple, but you know you're doing you're doing the work for them. It's personal and it's it's a great gift. Yeah, the person who asked about like uh, gift suggestions, suggestions, mm-hmm. they specifically asked about books too. Mm-hmm. So I send them links to some books that mm-hmm. we've talked about before. Yeah, the Daily Uke or Daily Uke Leap uh, Leap Year Edition, is, you know. Well, well, I actually sent them to um, some books that you talked about oh, before, like, like John King and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, okay. or mm-hmm. like uh, yeah, yeah. Duke. Is it Duke on Uke? Duke on Uke by yeah, Paul, um, Hemmings. Paul Hemmings. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, like the those two, but are there any other books that you would suggest, or you really enjoyed like learning from this year? Um, Abe has a great you know jazz book like Intro to Jazz. Uh, I was checking that out while I was working with Mike. So you know, speaking of Mike, um, there's also like James Hill's uh, Duets for One. Like if you're more of a like intermediate to advanced player, those are super fun. Um, Let's see. Anything by uh, Lau Ritz, preferably the uh, I think it's Orange one by Hal Leonard. Like that's uh, that's another really good one. Um, one that um, that I dig because I'm a huge Beatles fan. There's like a huge uh, like the full collection or whatever. It's like however many like pages of of just Beatles music in its original key. It's really mm. cool. Like it's uh, the full collection or something like that i'll bring it one of these days or i'll take a picture and you know send it over or to kahai just send me a link to it oh so yeah, I can yeah, put yeah, it yeah. In something the... complete beatles collection is it's okay. really cool so that's i mean not just ukulele but that's for you know for everyone and it's, once again it's like songbooks you know i i thought too like um if you kind of know that the person likes mm-hmm. you know jazz or mm-hmm. Like that kind of music, you could probably get them a real book, you know, mm-hmm. and they yeah, have different cool. versions of real yep. books too out there. So you mm-hmm. could probably find one that's made for the person, mm-hmm. but they got to know it's not it's not a beginner music book mm-hmm. and they got to kind of know their own chords already to yeah. play along. So. And there's also, um, you know, for beginner beginners out there, there is a book that uh, that I actually bought and it's in my car right now. It's like two chord songs, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> freaking great i love that book and it gives us you know gives us ideas it gives me ideas whenever i have to you know like teach um like beginners and and kids and stuff it's just it's super fun like two chord uh two chord songs you know for absolute beginner ukulele players that's that's really great Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And my last pick, last, <laughs> oh, definitely uh, not the least. Uh, Jim, Jim in the chat said Roy Sakuma's Treasury of Treasury Ukulele, Ukulele Chords. Yeah, yeah, classic, classic yeah. book. Treasury of Ukulele Chords. I can't believe we, we missed that one, you know? <laughs> happy retirement, Roy. <laughs> like, happy <laughs> yeah. retirement to you. If you guys don't know yet, um, Roy Sakuma is stepping down. And I think we talked about this, you know, from, uh, from the Ukulele Festival Hawaii. And uh, Craig and Sarah are now taking over the mantle of... Um, director i guess organizer of um of yeah. ukulele festival hawaii so congrats to them if we haven't said it before congratulations craig and sarah mm -hmm. yeah like they're they're the perfect choice for that so, yeah, yeah seriously all right so my number one choice i can't believe that you know that this this trumps over everything oh, <laughs> okay oh. you ready for this guy okay how how much how much of my wallet how how much of my wallet <laughs> i checked yesterday it's Twenty dollars a month, <laughs> and that's a UU Plus subscription. You know what I mean? Like, and, and you folks are probably like, "Ah, oh, he's just like just peddling his own, you know, his own wares or whatever." But the thing is, I I believe in our product so much that I'm not ashamed to like, you know, to to say that it is the hands down the best ukulele learning you know product you can gift to anybody. Like, it, it's I will stand by my product, like. I will stand by it. Seriously, that's, it's the best. It really is the best. I've I've tried and I've looked and I've you know like I've skimmed through a bunch of other ones and stuff, and uh, and really you know I our our site is something that I, I'm really 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 proud of. And you know it's not just like oh just sign up for it and you can go learn and stuff. Like I will personally come and you know and uh, and help you out with whatever you need for your ukulele. As long whatever it is to, the best, to my best ability, I will help you out personally. UU Plus subscription, hands down, <laughs> best gift of 2020, 2021. You name it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Some we we've got a couple inquiries about yeah. uh, giving gifts and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and kind of we don't have a specific like uh, gift page this year. Mm -hmm. But if you just email us like saying, "Hey, I want to give a gift to this person. Mm -hmm. um, how do I do that? Like, mm -hmm. how do, can I give it to them?" So they can sign up on their own, but they don't have to pay for it. J yeah, just email us and yeah. we'll set out set up like a custom like a gift code for them and mm -hmm. everything. So yeah, we'll we'll get it all sorted out. Cool beans. I mean, seriously, you know, like it's it's one of those like if you, you know, if if you have an ukulele player in your life and you're like, man, you should you should learn like how to play that thing correctly. <laughs> like that's, that's you plus. right, guy. I think uh, good Rob one, boss. Rob's in. The, sorry, good one, boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rob, Rob's in the chat, yeah. and I don't think he, I think you wouldn't mind me mentioning this. Yeah. But uh, so there's Rob, and then there's um. We have another student who from India mm -hmm. and Rob was talking to this student's parent mm -hmm. and the student's parent said like, oh, yeah, somebody else like that I know wanted to learn ukulele. So I told them about ukulele underground mm -hmm. and Rob was like, who is this person? Because I, I it, like they both work in the kind of the same field. And I think this this person said like, oh, it's, um you know, they, they named the person. And Rob okay. was like, oh, yeah, I do know that person. <laughs> so it's like crazy too. like just yeah. besides, you know, like learning ukulele and stuff. I think that's probably one of the best things about uh, joining the ukulele community or mm -hmm. becoming a part of it is like you really get to know people and mm -hmm. you never know who, you know, you'll talk to and they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. Or, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I wanted to learn ukulele or something. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are a bunch of different options for like learning how to play the ukulele now. And um, uh, Uncle Brian Tolentino said it the best. You know, you can't learn everything from one school, but that's, you know, but here at Ukulele Underground, like I'll teach you everything that I know. And we have master classes that you can uh, you, you can take that has other teachers' opinions and their teaching styles and stuff. Craig is on there. Um, Bruce Shimubakur is on there. Chris Salvador is on there. We got a bunch of different point of views, you know, of uh, as far as approach to ukulele. And, uh, and I'm there for the personal help, but you know, anything really get, you know, uh, if you really care for that ukulele player in your life, just give them a gift of ukulele education, U U plus, but you know, anything really, <laughs> <laughs> anything that just will spread the love of ukulele. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got yeah. <laughs> now, now that you went, I like, mm -hmm. I don't want to say what was like my pick too. Cause what was your number one, what was your number one pick? It's not, it, 
that you made it like such a good uh like oh that's so heartwarming <laughs> and, and mine, <laughs> yeah my mind sounds so cold now but um, no well it, you plus was your number one so what's your number two? Oh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. it that's it uh um so i uh okay <laughs> so uh my pick is uh a recording device if you Ooh. they can be a little bit expensive but okay. if you really want to give something to a player and mm-hmm. you know they, they don't have anything mm-hmm. i think this could be a fun gift to give them uh there's zoom recorders that they're just recorders on their own so they can you know take it with them mm-hmm. that you can record anywhere mm-hmm. but if they're a computer user uh the recorders that are the interfaces that we use at work and mm-hmm. that i personally use is from focus right and they've kind of become like the standard for bedroom musicians out mm. there so uh the focus right uh 2i2 i think it's called uh a bunch of people have it and it's relatively cheap compared mm. to everybody else that you can get it like mm. uh digital uh audio kind of work workstation yeah. yeah stuff from so yeah i i think that that could be a fun gift if you yeah. you know somebody who plays ukulele but mm. Maybe they don't record themselves or they don't mm-hmm. do that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. What you got? I don't know. Those are good. <laughs> <laughs> um, some last minute yeah. additions and stuff, just like some little stocking stuffers. I um I I like those like those wall hangers like ukulele wall hangers and stuff. You don't mm-hmm. have to because string I, swings, string swings. Yeah, that that's what it's called. I you don't have to um, nail them to the wall or like because I I rent you know where where I live and stuff, and you don't have to screw them into the wall. Um, I just put two of those like um, what do you call it? Not three M's, but what is like the the sticky in the, mm-hmm. the wall things? Mm-hmm. Like um, yeah, I, I use two of those you know for for the one and it holds really well like it's it, it hasn't yeah. come down you know like and it's non uh, non-intrusive because you can just take off the um the back part of it later um i i use them at in in my house uh those are those are great and i believe those maybe 15 bucks like 20 bucks for you know for one it's not too bad and it securely you know like hangs your uke on the wall if you own your your place even better you can just drill you know drill into the wall and stuff and just hang your ukes good stuff uh, another one is um uh, if, if you have a, an ukulele player that you know has um that has a, a a plug-in uke in your life like some fun you know um fun little pedals like some pedals are super cheap too nowadays right kahai yeah i was actually gonna bring um i have a headphone amp yeah and that is actually pretty great if mm-hmm. you have a if you're the person you know you're buying for has a plug-in uke because mm-hmm. um, it's just fun you plug it in mm-hmm. you put on your headphones and you can hear your ukulele distorted or mm-hmm. whatever through mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. effects and amps yeah. you don't need to get a i think they're relatively cheap they're like 20 bucks mm-hmm. and like you said uh effects pedals or effects stuff mm-hmm. on amazon they're yeah really cheap now yeah like you can find vox anything. vox makes some yeah from some specific ones right yeah, yeah there's yeah. there's one i have my eye on actually like it's uh i i do like separate pedals and stuff but Every now and then, like I go back to like multi-effect pedals and stuff because mm-hmm. it's just cheaper, you know. And uh, I have it on my Amazon wish list. Just hint, hint to my wife. That's why, you know. <laughs> like that's kind of what I want. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's on my list. Well, like mm-hmm. I have a Line Six multi-effect pedal, mm-hmm. and I honestly I don't really use it because I have I plug directly into my computer. Mm-hmm. That's what I mostly use for mm-hmm. effects and stuff. But you have an effect pedal too, right, Aaron? I do. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I like, yeah, I think me? it's a Zoom. Mm. Uh, I forget what it what it is, but we, yeah, we can leave <laughs> it in the the uh, links. <laughs> yeah. But uh, oh, do you have it? Oh yeah, I have. Um, he here's actually the uh, the ukulele related things on my on my Amazon wish list. Okay, so um, first one is this this exact piano bench that i'm sitting on right now it is awesome like i love this my uh my behind loves it because it's comfy like back then <laughs> i had to use this like that wooden stool for years and uh yeah i have one and it's, it's awesome this is uh and this folds up so if you have a musician you know a gigging musician in your life like they can carry this to their gig and uh it's it's fine on honestly yeah. that is like a great yeah. gift like yeah. <laughs> if i got that for just like oh this is for when you practice i would be like oh i'm stoked yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's 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 awesome it's just you know just a just look up like a foldable um 
This one is by. This, you have name? a. Uh, do you remember where you got it from? You can send me the link afterwards. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I, I bought it from uh, from Mike's store, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that one's on my list. Um, a ukulele stand. You know, like a wood um, ukulele, mandolin, violin stand. Those are like 19 bucks, really easy. Some place that you can put your, your ukulele down. Like mm-hmm. the wooden stands are, are awesome because it, it's, a, it's a nice accent, you know, to a, to a room also. It doesn't have to be those like kind of just black or metallic looking stands. You can get a nice wooden one for, for cheap, you know. Um, and then the string swing that I was talking about. Also, uh, bridge pins is is part of my uh, my my wish list. If if you have a kanile ukulele player or any anyone who has a um, bridge pin ukulele, you can actually buy these pins separately. You know, you can get um, these ones that I have on my Amazon wish list right now. Um, they they're like twelve bucks, and there's six of them because they're for guitar. But those guitar ones work for ukulele as well. And if it's too sm- big or too small, you can always just sand it down a little bit for it to fit you know um but uh the ones that i have are are rosewood guitar bridge pins with an abalone dot so nice mm-hmm. and f- you can make your ukulele stick fancy schmancy by just you know putting some cool you know like cool new dots on there so i have plastic black dots with uh with white it's not even mother of pearl it's just white dots <laughs> like on this on this one so you know if my wife uh, reads my Amazon wish list, then I might have these changed by next year. <laughs> so. I, I can also imagine somebody like Renee uh-huh. uh, getting the cheaper pins mm-hmm. that are just plastic and checking them out. Yeah, like paying yeah. them herself or something yeah. and giving that to somebody. That'd mm-hmm. be a cool present. So. And um, last but not least, the one I was talking about, um, I'm looking at this effects pedal. And it's 100 bucks, which is, uh, you know, which is pricey for a pedal, I guess, you know, which, but it's, some pedals go to five, six hundred dollars, but this has like multi effects. It's the Zoom G1X4. So Zoom G1, it's got an expression pedal on there. It's got, um, it's it's pretty cool because you can kind of like, uh, you can pick the um, the effect that you want and you can stack it in whatever order that you want to stack it in, which wasn't in the 505 Zoom that I have now. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Like I I dig it. It's you know I was looking for a wah pedal because my wah pedal is broken now. But I, that's with the expression. It you know you can you can do wah. You can use use the expression for volume control. It's pretty cool. 109 bucks and um, yeah, it's got everything. If you want delay, if you want distortion, if you want flanger, if you want chorus, whatever you want on your ukulele. Um, something as simple as reverb, tuner. Um, it's also got a loop, like a 30 second loop in there. 100 bucks. <laughs> we should, you know what I mean? <laughs> we should mention though, like if you want to buy a pedal for somebody, mm-hmm. I, this is for people who don't understand uh, music equipment. Usually you have to buy, uh, yeah, make sure that they have an app or something that yeah, will yes, run yes, through yes. the pedal. Because you can't just buy a pedal mm-hmm. and then expect the person to plug in their headphones. The, mm-hmm. the headphone jack won't work. Mm-hmm. So, or a headphone won't work with a pedal. So mm-hmm. you really need like something like an app to plug in for mm-hmm. the sound to come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for me, the big thing is being able to kind of uh, control where the pedal is or where the effect is on the link. Because um, it makes a big, big, big difference. So for example, I like uh, to use my distortion with with the uh with the halfway wah on it okay so like the the wah pedals um but if you put the wah after the distortion it's gonna sound a certain way but if you put the wah before Mm -hmm. the distortion it sounds a totally completely different way too so that for me is is huge back then when i was using a multi-effects processor which is a zoom 505 2 i believe um you just kind of stacked it on and you it didn't tell you where it was in the chain, which is, you know, that was cool about that. Plus, looper, 30 second looper, mm-hmm, got yeah. everything. It's awesome. And it's $100. It's so yeah. cool. Can't I think wait. that's that's the updated version of the one that I have. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. I have the G1 on. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Like that, G1X. Yeah. Because I had the 505, old school, like old school uh, Zoom 505. And it didn't have an expression pedal. It was just like a two button mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Loved it. Loved yeah, the it. one that I have is like the updated version of that. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so yeah, so go with the newest, I'll newest get one. version. And then the next one, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, but it's fun. I was looking at other ones and stuff like boss pedals and whatnot. They're like huge. And what's cool about that is it runs in four double A's. Oh, you, yeah. you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to uh, plug it into uh, an external power source um it doesn't take like nine volts which are pricey so it's it's cool and it lasts a long time mm-hmm. yeah I, I well like uh, last week after we did our i think it was a jam mm-hmm. i showed you what i use mm-hmm. um it's a software called guitar rig mm-hmm. 
So if people know that, uh, you know, if you're, you want to get something for an Ook player and you know that they have something to plug into their computer, uh, I think Guitar Rig is a really good mm-hmm. program. It's expensive. It's like $200. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what it does it is it emulates like different amps and different effects itself. So kind of mm-hmm. like you said, like you can stack uh, or you can put the effects in different, you know, yeah. like order. Yeah. And you can really uh, control how it comes out. Mm-hmm. So uh, I like that's why I kind of don't use my Line 6 pedal board anymore. Mm-hmm. It's a great pedal board. Mm-hmm. But like instead of taking that out, I just like plug into my computer and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like arranging the effects on my computer is just like drag and drop or like I'm just moving it around instead mm-hmm. of like trying to run through my uh, my pedal mm-hmm. boards, like a uh, whole system of like you step on this pedal and you do yeah. this and stuff. So, yeah. Just yeah, it's, yeah we're, we're living in an increasingly virtual world. So, <laughs> so like gift guides are a little tougher now because, I mean, even with like the tuner, our first recommendation, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can just get that for your phone and always have <laughs> it, <Yeah>. right? <laughs> I don't know. For yeah. free, like you yeah, just download the app. There's just I, nothing like placing it on top of your thing and just <laughs> reading it. Extra stuff. tight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tight. That's super tight. Super tight. tight. Super tight. <laughs> that is like one thing though like i think if i was a player and i only had a phone app to uh tune my ukulele i thought you just crushed a lot <laughs> oh. <laughs> good one boss uh it's gonna I, get that reference <laughs> i think i think i would want i would be pretty happy if somebody got me a clip-on tuner because the the convenience of a clip-on tuner is pretty mm-hmm. nice like just leaving it there and then mm-hmm. you just turn it on and you play it like that's one of the things with i mean it's not a huge thing but mm-hmm. uh if you have a phone and you're using an app you kind of have to hold it close to your uke or you mm-hmm. have to like mm-hmm. put it down and then tune your right so yeah having a clip on like just makes it like more i don't know it's mm-hmm. always there mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about it i don't know and and i'm pretty sure it's accurate but for some reason like in my mind it just doesn't seem accurate you know, like, to, <laughs> to, use the, to use the fold and stuff i don't know like i just that's like my last you know my last choice my go-to and i always have my phone and there's always a tuner and we've used that yeah. many yeah. times for like when we film and, stuff, <laughs> and forget or, the tuner but that's when we forget the tuner the yeah. tuner is always first choice but you know or the the actual physical tuner is the first choice and whenever i do have to use the phone i'm like I, I hope this is in tune, you know, even though the phone tells me like, oh, yeah, you're in tune. But it's like, oh, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cameron in the chat mm-hmm. actually put the LR Bags um, mm-hmm. venue. That's and it, like one of the reasons why you like it, right, is because it has a built in tuner. So yes. yeah. when you go and you play live, you yeah. don't have to worry about bringing a separate yeah. tuner. It's a great like. It's uh, a great DI. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I would say not a lot of people mm, yeah, have a need for a di that's so, more for that's like a, a performing musician yeah like if you have a performing musician in your life then yeah definitely like the the venue i will vouch for it i use venue for about a decade now it's pretty yeah. awesome and uh and before i was pretty particular uh you know particular with my uh with my di's J, uh jdi was my go-to back then now like lr bags you know because uh i didn't like the which one do you have the the, the box one and stuff Oh yeah, yeah, it was a little much. Like it was a the lot of power for my tiny DI. Is that a right? paracoustic, Para- 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 yeah. yeah. And everyone's raving about it and stuff. And I tried it, and it was just too much. Um, my friend Zaysha had one back when we were doing. Oh, I was doing Volcano Joe's, and she's <laughs> like, "Oh, just plug into this." And I just never liked how my uke sounded whenever I plugged into that. I don't know if it was the uke or the DI, but I just had too many like not so good experiences. But yeah, a lot of people, you know, like will swear by it. But hmm, yeah. <laughs> but not that I don't like LR bags is I like the venue. Venue's great. But it's mostly for a performing musician because yeah. think of a DI as a microphone for your ukulele. You know, where we uh, we recommend pedals because they're fun. You know, like if you yeah, have an yeah, app at totally. home or if you have a computer you can plug into, you know, you can plug into your um your uh your pedal which plugs into your your computer if uh if you have that focus rate like that um what what Kahai was talking about, you know, a way to uh, put plug into your computer. That's always fun. Yeah, it's pedals are pedals are fun. Yeah, <laughs> just like watch uh, listen to last week's episode. <laughs> I think if somebody is like if they're a working musician, mm-hmm. they probably already have a DI, mm-hmm. or if they're thinking about buying a DI, they probably have one specifically in mind. Mm-hmm. Where if you buy a pedal, like if somebody if you just give somebody like a metal zone or like a you know a blues <laughs> Good stuff. Blues what is driver. a 
yeah blues driver yeah. or something you know like or yeah. like a wah or something mm-hmm. like and they don't have it it's probably just like oh this is like neat i want to try this out with whatever yeah. i get you know yeah it's just like a new it changes your how you play mm-hmm. and it changes what you can do so mm-hmm. it just like oh this is you know even if it's not something that they were actively looking mm-hmm. for it's probably just something fun that they can try out one thing we forgot to mention is a case of Ito and green tea like any <laughs> new Kalala player would love I mean especially this one <laughs> an entire case of Ito and green tea we're bringing it back boys <laughs> bring Ito and back you know Ito and hasn't hasn't showed uh, uh, hasn't shown up in a long time but Shit. bringing it back Ito and case of these any ukulele player I'll drink <laughs> and not the tea bags <laughs> yeah not no not the, not the Kirkland Ito and collaboration no <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like I think I'm going to look into, I'm going to look into emailing E2N and ask them, <laughs> like, uh, sponsor. we really, <laughs> yeah. sponsor the show. Yeah. Because yeah. some people are like, oh, we can't show products unless, you know, the it's sponsoring the show. I was like, no, no, no I just enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if they sponsor or not. not. I just really <laughs> like E2N green tea. It's like the most accurate green tea, like, that, uh, that I've tasted. <laughs> really, mm-hmm. just... <laughs> like you're it's like a soft drink green tea you know like if if it's like mass produced like, like a coke like the coke tastes like a coke like this tastes like green tea like a soda version of green tea <laughs> there is actually somebody who said what what is it the, the mm-hmm. brand of green tea that aldrin is always drinking ito in so i mm-hmm. and i had to i specifically sent them a link <laughs> To the bottles, and I told them not the bags, but the <laughs> bottles. Not the bags, yeah. yeah. Get the bottles. Kirkland Cross Etwin. No, no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't collaborate with everyone. You well, know, like, <laughs> well, like not uh, every collaboration is good. Uh, we, we I'm we looking might... forward to the AG Cross Etwin. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the one. That's the, the one. Guy. At the bottom of the bottle, you'll get one string for every. every <laughs> You gotta drink it, and then you gotta cut it out of the bottle. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, we're just gonna take a we we'll take a page from Snapple's book. Like underneath the cap is just like random uke facts, you know. <laughs> uke facts. Uke facts number whatever, you know, like under the cap. That's it. Honestly, that's that's the only thing that I would change. It was it's the same exact green tea, but AG Cross E two N or AG Cross Green Tea. What? I love the idea AGX too that GT. I love the idea too that the uke facts is like. Did you know that most people prefer ukulele to guitar? <laughs> Just something like that, right? Huge facts number two. <laughs> Did you know that the ukulele was created before the guitar and they enlarged it and it's added two strings to it's it. It's just them just like pooping over guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guitar. Or like all instruments. Did you know that ukes sound way better? <laughs> Did you know that ukes were the first instrument ever discovered? Did you know that uke players live an average of 20 years older than guitar players? <laughs> we should we should we should make our own show where it's like yeah. Uke facts and then it comes <laughs> up. <facts>. It's just <laughs> all... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. So you know, these are our holiday <laughs> buyer's guide. I guess I don't know. These are great things to get for ukulele players. I mean, I'm I'm sticking to my number one choice, which is UU Plus. But also the uh, the less expensive, just make a binder full of uh, you know full of music. Anyone would appreciate. It. I don't think anybody would be mad at that kind of gift. You know, honestly. It's cool. Mm-hmm. As long as you don't like, you're not uh, passive aggressive about it <laughs> and being like, I really hate all the songs you play. So I made you a binder of all the songs that I want to hear. Yeah, I'll give you a binder full of Coldplay songs. No, no, no. <laughs> no Devin's going to give that to you for Christmas and it's just only going to be Ventura uh. Highway. It's <laughs> like 200 pages of Ventura Highway. <laughs> <laughs> different keys <laughs> no no just the same just the same, the same exact, key <laughs> same exact page oh yeah. man it's hilarious <laughs> that's a the meme right it's like mm. it's all ventura highway <laughs> and then devin is behind you with a gun and he's like it's always been <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> right on yeah so you know give give a nice gift to that very special someone this year right guy yeah 
I can't. Uh, mm-hmm. We're almost out of time. I can't yeah. believe we took up that much time. Yeah, one question. So yeah. let's let's do lightning round. You want to do lightning uh, round? Uh, well, somebody uh, at the very beginning of the the okay. live lesson, we had one question. Okay. So I, I want to ask this. Sure. Uh, okay. So Lauga mm-hmm. asked my brother, who has some good quality code, would mm-hmm. you? Wanted me to ask you if you believe that age affects the sound of an ukulele over time, such as in classic acoustic guitars, mm-hmm. uh, where it seems there is no substitute for time mellowing out the sound. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so Chris, yeah, our friend, <laughs> <laughs> very friend, a very good friend, Chris, um, is is asking, you know, if uh, if time makes these koa ukuleles better, and and I'd say it depends. Okay, um, if it is a solid body. Or a solid top, you know, preferably solid body or not body. It's solid top. Let's just say solid top. It's a solid top, <laughs> not solid body. Yeah, it's <laughs> not solid body. <laughs> um, solid top ukuleles are the ones that will sound better with time because it is a you know single piece of, or not single piece, but like it's it's a single piece of wood that is book matched. Okay, that's so it's two. I, I was kind of like, oh, should I say single? It's just it's, it's not laminate. Yeah, it's not laminate. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say say it as as, as best as I can. Lam- basically, laminate too is just basically plywood. Yes. So yeah. it's just a bunch of you know like little wood scraps that kind of <laughs> they put together, together. Not necessarily. Yeah. I, I is, yeah. But it's uh um you know those uh, veneer uh, ukuleles or veneer top ukuleles um, they don't really get too much better with time because it's you know it's veneer a solid top ukulele is the one that's going to sound better with age so if you have a um, koa ukulele just because it's koa doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sound better with age um it has to be a solid top koa but that goes with anything a solid top mahogany a solid top spruce you know any um any solid top ukulele um but but um I have had experience with some veneer ukulas that do sound better, you know, as as you play it, but not to the same extent that a solid body ukulele would sound better. I've definitely, you know, uh, played uh, my my friend, you know, Victor, Senior Victor. You know, he's uh, he's got a prelude ukulele, uh, baritone ukulele that he put like tenor strings on top, mm-hmm. and I swear that thing sounds better, like you know. 25 30 years later mm-hmm. than uh, than when i first played it back in the late 90s it's um it's just uh deeper. yeah it's awesome yeah it's just Even got a better just sound strum once. so for me and then i know what it sounded like back yeah. in you know back in the 90s but um you know it, it makes a little bit of a difference and but that took like 20 something years for you know for it to do that whereas a solid top you know ukulele or any solid top instrument um will get better and you'll you hear a noticeable difference if you play it Often enough, you should see a noticeable difference within the year, you know, like, um, but it'll just get better and better and better. So there are these like Martin ukuleles, um, and Kamaka ukuleles from like 19, whatever, like, you know, 16, that was their very first, uh, Kamaka ukuleles. Um, but there's also, you know, like, um, like twenties Martin ukes that like sound amazing because just for yeah. 80, 120 years or like 170 million years that has been like just, you know, just aging. But yeah, age does make it, you know, make it sound better. And the reason for that is when you, um, you know, when you cut the, when you cut the wood and you put it, use it as an ukulele top, it, uh, it doesn't quite know that what it's supposed to be yet. But the more you play it, the more kind of the wood realizes that, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to vibrate. And the more it vibrates, um, later on in in the years it'll start to kind of know what it's supposed to do and just sound better it'll just vibrate in a different way than it did when you uh than when you first got it okay i i think um the the thing is though like don't just buy a uke because it's old yeah because yeah it's yeah there's like tv pal ukes that are super old but they still sound like Like plastic plastic. ukes (laughs) yeah yeah. and and it's it's like wine right Mm -hmm. you can buy wine and you can put it in your closet (laughs) <laughs> and in 10 years, it doesn't mean that that wine is going to taste better. It's going to taste terrible. <laughs> yeah. Because, and ukes are this, instruments are the same way. You have to make sure that they're stored correctly yes. for yeah. them to get the yeah. full, Definitely. you know. Yeah. 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 And you do have to play them, you know, like you, you have to play them. You have to let that wood vibrate, like I was talking about, you know, like, and that's what makes it age, really. It's, it's not necessarily 
um solely the years that it's got it's mm-hmm. more like how much has been vibrating all these years yeah. and that's what ages the wood uh, yeah that's what i i saw with um uh, uh these guitarists they were mm-hmm. asked the same question about vintage like oh mm-hmm. do you believe vintage is better mm-hmm. and they said like no vintage or old does not necessarily always mean better but there's like a feeling to them that mm-hmm. it adds you know so yeah. and and it definitely has to be the right thing because, you know, like uh, we can say like, oh, yeah, like, uh, you know, 20s Martins or 60s Martins sound great. But if you try out one and it doesn't sound good to you, then, yeah, that's that's it. It doesn't match you. So mm-hmm. it, it is up to like personal taste to or personal yeah. preference. Yeah. So. yeah. Also, also, if you are going to store your ukulele and not play it, do not. Uh, keep it at tension. No, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Tune your ukes. <laughs> yeah, d- tune it down mm-hmm. so that the strings are not up to tension, mm-hmm. um, because all of that tension, it, it might, and like, you know, your the glue is might not mm. hold every, up. So <laughs> every once in a while, you hear stories, right, of people like saying, like, oh, I found this old ukulele in my my grandma's storage or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. and it turns out that it's pristine. But that is like the that's the minority. Mm-hmm. It, the majority is if you just put a uke in storage <laughs> and it's in like it's uh, tightened up and you're not doing anything yeah. with it to prepare it to be put in storage, it's not gonna come out looking no. better than it. It can't win. Yeah, in yeah, a lot of them you'll see a lot of like necks separating from mm-hmm. the body, a lot of bridges, bridges. popping off, mm-hmm. a lot of uh, separation mm-hmm. of the top from the body. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so, I was I was going to add that like y- you guys have probably heard when you know when people say that like the the sound opened up or this uke opened up. That's mm-hmm. basically what it is. It's like the you know you playing the ukulele for for so long this you know the wood vibrating as much as it has and um in the years it's got on it it's it's going to have that opened up sound to it. So whereas a veneer um ukulele or a um non-solid top ukulele is not going to open up as much yeah yeah just like kind of know that if you Mm -hmm. buy one of those like the sound that you get is probably the sound you're gonna have like you know or it's gonna be pretty similar to it so yeah Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so that's it you know like that's so regardless core or not what matters is if it's a solid top or non-solid what do we call those non-solid tops guy a uh, laminate sure do <laughs> <laughs> but i think his question was is that like a a real phenomenon yeah, yeah yeah it it, it is you know it is i've <clears throat> i've had like personal experience you know like i've played a lot of older ukuleles i've even uh, owned ukuleles that you know i've i've had like come i've had, i've had a kamaku ukulele from like 90s 6 98 or whatever and um it sounds way better now in 2020 than it did back in 98 um and even like even this ukulele right here in my hands i've had this ukulele for i don't know eight years about like eight nine years and this ukulele has just opened up its sound we got <clears throat> a brand new um prototype from kanilea for 2021 that we're gonna unveil pretty soon and uh, and it's like one of their best sounding instruments, you know, like today. But this actually sounded better than that because of its age. You know, not as fancy with whatever new bracing that they've got and stuff. It's just with age, this just sounds better. You know yeah. that, and like yeah. I guess the, the uh, so the, that one the right out of the it. box yeah. versus this one with age. Yes. It, so so this one probably didn't sound as, as good, good as right the, yeah. right out of yeah. the box, mm-hmm. but yeah, with with, with age. age. There's like a tonal quality that you mm-hmm. just can't recreate uh, with a brand new instrument. Mm-hmm. It and, needs to go through aging. And the best, uh, best way to describe it is this uke has opened up, whereas that uke is not. Yeah, know? I think, but it's also been played every week yeah. for like the past eight <laughs> years too. Yes. So I think the misconception <clears throat> too that people have is that when they buy a uke or instrument, mm-hmm. that they're buying it like they cut down the the <laughs> the wood. And then they make it into logs or they make it into things. They make it into an instrument and then they, they just pass it on to you. Like, mm-hmm. here you go. But a lot of these instrument makers, too, they, they actually age their wood before mm-hmm. they, they even make it mm-hmm. into instruments. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, there is a difference. Like, they won't just slap it together and send it yeah, to you. Yeah, it has to dry. It has to cure. Like, mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a curing process to it, you know? 
But uh, yeah, like even like uh, I've heard of like Taylor and Martin, mm. they have like wood rooms where specifically they just keep wood at a certain temperature mm -hmm. and they keep it for years until they mm. go like, okay, now this wood is ready to be made into a uh, guitar nice. or whatever. Nice, nice. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Anything else, Kahai? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to uh, Thursday Live Lesson. We'll have our last one next week, right? Uh, I or do we not have one next week? No, we we have yeah. one next week. I, yeah, it's our our last one though for so the last year. one for the year. So we'll yeah. see you folks in twenty twenty one. Hopefully, uh, you know we're we're still around <laughs> by then. <laughs> like I, hopefully, every the whole world hasn't blown up yet. You know, <laughs> that's basically what I'm saying. So hopefully the world hasn't blown up. Um, we'll see you folks next week, and then after that, have a very 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 nice long yeah. holiday break. We we actually did uh put out a new solo though for oh, everybody. Yeah. So um Santa Baby. Mm -hmm. Nice. And, and then Love we <laughs> have the songwriting contest <clears throat> going mm -hmm. on. Uh sh should Which we... is not due, right? Until like next year. Uh, next year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for, but... them. for them. For them. Yeah, for <laughs> you guys. For us is due next week. Uh should next week should that we announce the uh favorite Yu Yu quote? People? Yes. So yeah. we'll set let's a deadline yeah. for next week. Let's okay. have it. End of the year. Okay. You know, extravaganza. Okay. <laughs> we'll sing songs. We'll say quotes. We'll look back at the year. We'll have fun because 2020 has been awesome. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Looking back at this amazing year that we've had, 2020. What a, what a year, guy. Just, what just so what a much, year. Yeah. <laughs> so much stuff. It's just, yeah. just keep nothing swimming. But, just nothing keep but swimming. Nothing but fun <laughs> memories this year, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right on, guys. We'll see you folks next uh, next time. Hopefully tomorrow for a little Friday live jam. If uh, you guys want to see more of us, you can watch the uh, you know watch the archives of uh, Thursday live <laughs> lesson. Uh, watch last week if you're if you want to know more about pedals and stuff like that, or um, <clears throat> book a private lesson with me through UU Plus. Once again, UU Plus. Sign up for it if you want to take your ukulele playing to the next level. Have a great one, Aloha.